Good morning, everyone. Come on in. Good morning, Mia. Oh, thank you. So are you. We are going to get started in just a few more minutes. We're just going to allow time for people to come on in so we can pray. I know it's early. <laughs> so um, just a few more minutes here and then we'll go ahead and pray. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Whitley. I hope everyone is having a good morning so far i don't know if you guys are up and getting ready to be starting your day or if you were just up for prayer or not even up for prayer you just on here you still in your bed <laughs> but good morning so glad to have you on this morning Okay, so it's um, 602 we're gonna go ahead and get started I'm going to read um, a scripture into your hearing this morning some scripture rather into your hearing this morning because when I got up this morning and I asked Lord um, what do you want your people to know and the one thing that came to mind today was for um, me to remind you that this is still the year of the Lord's favor. The Lord does not want you to forget the possibility of um, prosperity in this year, even in the midst of all of the calamity and confusion that is going on. This is still a this is still the year of the Lord's favor. So I was brought to Isaiah 61 that says, "The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor." He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. They shall bind up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the formal dev former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and tend your flocks. Foreigners shall be your plowmen and vine dressers, but you shall be called the priests of the Lord. They shall speak of you as the ministers of our God. You shall eat the wealth of, of the nations, and in their glory you shall boast. Instead of your shame, there shall be a double portion. Instead of dishonor, they shall rejoice in their lot. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess a double portion. They shall have everlasting joy. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrong. I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their offspring shall be known among the nations and their descendants in the midst of the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them that they are an offspring the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall ex exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes what is sown in it to sprout up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to sprout up before all the nations. So, um, 
this morning i just i feel i feel that we should be reminded that even though this is there's a lot going on 2020 we hit <laughs> We got hit pretty hard in 2020. Um, a lot, I know a lot of us came into this year. We were so excited for what the, the possibilities of this year brought. And we all had a plan about how we were going to go about this year. It was, oh, it's a new decade. We're so excited about the possibilities. But then when calamity hit and everything shut down, literally the world is on pause and a lot of us have been trying to find our footing and we're questioning whether or not there will still be a performance from our god from the things that he has promised us but this morning god confirms that there will be a performance of everything that he has promised everything that he has spoken for you in this year do not neglect to do the work because there are still some things this is the perfect opportunity there are still some things that all of us need to do in order to make sure that we are prepared for what we are asking for so use this time as a time of preparation to actually be able to steward well what god is sending your way he's still going to do it he's still going to open the door he is still going to make sure that you have all the things that he promised that he would give you in this year but this is the opportunity for you to do the work this is the time for you to actually do the work, not just the physical work, not just starting the business, not just coming up with a marketing plan, not just coming up with a social media plan. Good morning, mama. But actually um, doing the soul work as well, doing the work that it takes on your heart um, to be able to steward that stuff well, because if you are still somebody who is operating in bitterness or you're still somebody who's operating in pride, it's not going to do him any good to bless you with those things if you are going to submit those things to pride or if you're going to use them in pride or if you're going to use them in bitterness and you're not going to use them to the glory of God to, um, to further his kingdom and further his purpose in the earth. So make sure that you are opening your heart, you're allowing God to do the soul work that needs to be done on the inside of you so that when you get what he has promised you you are not misusing it and you're not abusing it you're not using it for revenge you're not using your accomplishments to get back at your enemies it's not just going to be a facebook post where you can say look what the lord has done but underneath all of that it's really your way of saying i'm more blessed than you and you want the you want the people who wrote you off or the people who um you're not friends with no more or the people that you're not cool with anymore to see it because you want them to feel like you're more successful than they are there's nothing that we have that God doesn't give us. There's nothing that we can achieve that God doesn't give us the power to achieve. He gives us the power to achieve wealth so we have to we have to make sure that we're operating in the spirit of humility. I don't care what it is. it's a degree. Even if it's a, even if it's a degree, a PhD, whatever it is, God gives it. God can easily take it away. So do the soul work. It's not enough. It's it's not it, it's not benefiting the kingdom to be a nasty business owner, to be somebody with a nasty spirit, or to be um, somebody who lacks integrity and character. It doesn't it doesn't prosper the kingdom of God for you to be somebody who lacks character. Or somebody who lacks a biblical, a strong biblical foundation about how to treat people, not just other Christians, but how to treat people as a whole, other people as a whole, because God is concerned about concerned about that. He's concerned about how we treat people and how we are going to use the things that He has given us to bring other people into the kingdom. So we already know that some of us are the only experience that of Christ that some people get. You know, um, our lives, and I, I was telling this when I taught about the lying spirit in our strong man study is that our lives let, let other people know what is acceptable from our God, right? People are be able to look at our lives and say, so it is okay to, to treat people well. Like God expects for Christians to do X, Y, and Z. But when we live a life that's, that's um, questionable, people don't know what to, what to believe about the God that we say that we serve because of the lives that we live, you know? So make sure that this, that you don't forget, first of all, that this is still the year of the Lord's favor. This is still the year that God is going to blow our minds and open the doors and bless us with all the things that we're in need of. But, um, oh, I should say rather the things that he sees fit to bless us with that he knows that we're in need of. Um, but don't forget to do the work, the physical work, the soul work as well. Um, because you need to be settled um, in your identity in him before you get all this stuff. 
because if you get all this stuff before you are solidified in your identity in him it's you're going to grab your identity from that so with that being said let's pray so father in jesus name we just thank you for this day we thank you for this opportunity god just to come before you and to pray to set up our hearts petitions before you lord we thank you that you are the god who hears that you are not a god who ignores us father but you hear us you stand waiting every single day father to talk to us it is your delight to hear us it is your delight to talk to us to commune with us so god i thank you just for the way that you have given us the opportunity to be able to come and pray father we thank you for what you are doing in this year we thank you, God, that this is still the year of your favor, that this is still the year where you are going to do the supernatural, Father. There shall be a performance of all the things that you have promised us, God. There shall be a performance of all the things that you have spoken over us, Lord. You are the God who watches over your word to perform it. It will not return to you, boy, Father, but it will accomplish that which you have sent it to do. So, God, we thank you that we can rely on you. You are a reliable God. You are not a liar. There is nothing, there is nothing that comes out of your mouth that is a lie father so we can stand on what you have said regardless of what it looks like regardless of what closes down regardless of um, what changes father we thank you that you don't change and your word is constant your word is consistent you are the same henceforth now and forever so we can depend on what you have said to be true god i thank you that you are still going to open the doors that need to be open for your people in this year god before the year is out father we know that you are going to do what you have already said so we stand on it by faith God we believe that you are going to do what you said you would do I pray right now God that for every person on this line that if anyone has lost their faith God that faith be restored God if anyone has lost their hope that hope be restored God if anyone is in depression concerning what they have lost in this season father I pray that you would show them Lord the other side of that that you would show them God what it is that you are doing on the opposite side of their loss God that they will not be so caught up in what it is that they have lost but that they would trust you with what it is to gain God I thank you God that we have not we have actually not lost anything father but we have gained opportunities we have gained time to be able to be prepared so that we are able to be good stewards of all the things that you have given us God all the things that you are getting ready to give us Lord I just pray that we would submit our hearts that we would submit our souls God to whatever you want to do to make us suitable for what you are going to give us God that we don't become the people who receive stuff and then become prideful or then become um, less compassionate father that we lack compassion and that um, we we use our stuff to retaliate. We use our accomplishments to retaliate at our past or retaliate at people that um, we're no longer in association with God. Lord, I just pray that you would help us to remain humble, that we would remain humble in everything that we receive, that we remain gracious in everything that we receive, that we understand that everything that you give us, God, from this day forward, any opportunity that you allow us to grow in education and wealth in business, God, that you would help us to realize that it's all all for a divine purpose that is much bigger than us God there's no degree that you have given us there's no amount of money that you have given us there's no platform or business that you have given us that you do not plan to use for your glory so God help us to always remember that help us to always remember that everything that you give us is a part of the arsery God that it is a part of what we are supposed to be using it is a, it is a part of what we're supposed to be as weapons we're supposed to be using as weapons against the the gates of hell father that we are not supposed to be using them to tear down other people or to make them feel like they are less than the less of a person than we are or less smart than we are or less business savvy than we are father just because we're able to achieve this stuff we will not forget you we will not forget you when we go into the good land that you have promised us father we will not forget you according to Deuteronomy 8 God we will not forget you we will not forget you when we get to where we're going we will not forget you when we're able to to be self-sufficient financially father we will not forget you once we get our degrees and once we are able to be in meetings with billionaires god and meetings with with change with other change agents god we will not forget you but we will take you with us everywhere that we go we will take you with us to those meetings 
We will take you with us to wherever it is that we that where you send us, God. We will stand for you and be a light for you in the communities that you are causing us to make change and to make a difference in, God. In the business realm, Father, we'll take you with us. People will see us and they will see a light in you and they will know that we are there for your purpose only, God. I thank you that you are still going to do it. I thank you that you are still going to open doors, God, that you are not slack concerning your promises, that you have not forgotten your people. And I just pray now for whoever is on this line, Father, that may feel forgotten, that may feel like you, everybody else around them is receiving what they have been promised for this year, Father. They have already received it. They're already walking in their promise. But Father, I pray that you would help us to be patient, that you would help us to know that you have not forgotten us, that you would help us to trust you no matter what, no matter what else is going on. And God, help us to be able to genuinely celebrate those around us who are walking into the promise of God, Father, but that let that also be an assurance, God, that if you have not forgotten about our sister and if we know their process, God, we know how long they've waited. We know their story. We know how long they've cried. We know how, how long they've prayed and how much they've trusted, Father. We know that by watching them receive the blessing of the Lord, that it should be a reminder to us that you are mindful of all of us and that you love us all the same, Father. So what you do for one, we know that you can do for all of us, God. Help us not to be jealous in this season. Help us not to be envious and covetous in this season, God, but help us to be celebratory, God, that we celebrate our brothers, we celebrate our sisters, that we don't compare ourselves to someone else, Father, but that we walk authentically in our own journeys, that we walk authentically um, in our own processes, God, and just trust you throughout it all. So, Father, I thank you that you are the faithful God, that you are faithful, that you are always going to do what it is that you said that you would do, that you would do. You are not a liar and that we can depend on you. Help us to rest in that God for the rest of our lives. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. So, um, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to prayer this morning, to our uh, morning prayer. We do pray every first and last Monday of the month at um, 5 a.m. Central Standard Time, 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have Tea Time, which is our Bible study, every Thursday. And that is at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. If you have any additional prayer requests, um, we our prayer team is able to take them. If you would email them to prayers um, with an S at wivesandwaiting.com, we'll be able to make sure that we keep you lifted up in prayer. If you have not already joined the um, Wives and Waiting Facebook group, it's a it's a place for community and sisterhood. Um, make sure you join us. Search on Facebook, WIW. So you can find that group as well. Make sure you visit our website, www.wivesandwaiting.com, just to get more information about the ministry and then get you some merchandise. We have some new um, T-shirts available, these cute little mugs. This will be the perfect time for some tea. I know I sound kind of stuffy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we have mugs, we have T-shirts, we have all kinds of paraphernalia that... Um, is just wonderful. So make sure that you join us right back here this Thursday at um, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then also make sure that you are connected with us in our Wives and Waiting Facebook group. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining us again. God bless you. Bye.